and it's warm out there. So I'm feeling a little creative today. I saw this photo on Instagram and it sparked an idea that I want to go out and try and recreate it. I would show you, but um, I kind of forgot to save the photo. I'm going to try and draw you a diagram of what my idea is. Uh, we've got a, a fence. Hang on, that needs to be a diamond fence. We've got a diamond looking fence. How the hell do I draw this? Okay, we've got our diamond fence. Now, we've got our person. So, that's the first shot. The second shot would just be the fence. These are the two photos I need to get. One with a person, one without a person. Then, I don't know how this is going to work, pretty much bits of the diamond are the... I'm just going to try and Google it. Aha, that is exactly what I want to do. Yo, what one? I need your help. Yeah, with what? A photo idea. Yeah, done. That's actually not shot. All right, we need to get over there because that looks like the type of fence that I need. Is this the fence that I need? Yes, it is. It's got the crisscrosses. I need you to get on the other side of the fence, so could you jump the fence for me? Jump the fence? What am I, getting? 16? Bro, I'll just go use the gate, like a reasonable citizen. About to fuck your blood. What am I, getting? 16? Bro. Alright, so we're pretty much going to be taking two different photos. One with AJ behind the fence, and another one without AJ behind the fence. So, then I can bring them both into Photoshop, overlay them, and pretty much just erase different diamonds to give this really cool effect. Just wait and see. Alright, let's talk about the photo. I think it turned out pretty good, considering that I only spent about three minutes taking the photos and spent about maybe an hour editing the photos. I think it turned out pretty darn good. Now, when it came to the editing, what I did is I brought both photos into Photoshop, made sure they're lined up. You can do that by just selecting the top layer, changing the opacity to about 50, and you can kind of see if they're lined up or not. From there, I went to the selection tool and just select different diamonds. It doesn't really matter which diamonds you do, you just get creative with it. Then you just go to the eraser tool and just erase out all the ones you've selected. From there, you can either color grade it in Photoshop or what I did is I brought the photo into Lightroom, applied my preset to it and you're left with something like this. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing and all the other stuff down below. With all that being said, stay safe, love you all and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.